Hey everyone, it's fall. You can tell it's fall because there's a pretty tree behind me. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about bulbs. This is a daffodil. Fall means planting bulbs that will bloom in spring and early summer. So this is daffodils, tulips, alliums, um, muscari. There are so many different kinds of um, bulbs that you might want to plant. And now's the time to do it. Uh, first of all, when to plant them, basically you want to wait until the soil has started to cool down. So here where I am in southeastern Wisconsin, um, now is a great time to do it. But you can do this right up until you can't get in the ground anymore. So if you buy a bunch of bulbs, forget about them in your garage, and then think, oh my gosh, and it's like almost Thanksgiving, and you're like, now what do I do? Try to get them in the ground because they're definitely not going to do anything in your garage, so you have nothing to lose. So as long as you can get into that soil, try sticking them in, and odds are um, they're going to do fine. The beauty of bulbs is that everything you need in this plant is right here. They don't need anything else other than what's, this is the whole plant right here. So they are trying really, really hard to live. So you don't have to worry about them too much. You just have to kind of throw them in the ground. Now the general rule for planting bulbs is that you want to plant them about um, two to three times as deep as the bulb is tall. So, you know, you would plant this one maybe, you know, four to six inches deep. But here's the thing. There's a new study that Cornell University is working on right now that basically shows that it really doesn't matter. Get them in the ground. Don't worry too much about the depth that they're at. They're going to do fine. So I think we've been overthinking this bulb thing. Um, but conventional wisdom is you know, two to three times the depth of the bulb. And if you can give them some water after you get them in the ground, that helps them out a lot to just kind of get kick-started. But again, don't stress too much over this. Just get them in and I guarantee you will be so happy you did this come spring. So how do we plant bulbs? So you can stick them in with a trowel. You can dig a hole with a shovel and plant a whole bunch in one area. You can use one of these. This is a, a bulb a stand-up bulb planter so you step on it and you create this tube you pull it out drop the bulb in the soil goes back in you can do all those things but i like to plant lots of bulbs and to me that is how bulbs look best bulbs are at their best when there's a ton of them so what i do is this this is a bulb auger and this goes on the end of your cordless drill but i'm going to show you how this works because to me um, even though it's another thing you have to buy and these sell for maybe I think you can find it for 20, 25 bucks, maybe even less, maybe more. But these will allow you to plant so many bulbs so quickly that you are just going to fly through them. So I'm going to show you how to use one of these today because this is my favorite way to plant a lot of bulbs quickly. Okay, so what you need is a cordless drill. So you got your drill and you have your auger. I like a tall, these come in all sorts of heights. I like them taller so that you can basically stand up straight and you don't have to be, it doesn't help you a lot if you have to be essentially on your knees crouching over to, to use one of these. Okay, so when you have a drill, you want it to be set on this drill setting right here. Then if you have a two-speed drill, you want it set on the lower of the two settings. Now most drills have a little toggle switch that goes back and forth. This controls which direction it's opening. So um, when it's like this on this one, it's going backwards. This is forwards, clockwise and unclockwise. Anti-clockwise, counterclockwise, that's what it is. Anyways, put your drill so that it's in uh, reverse or counterclockwise. Hold on to this middle part here. And then what you'll see is this opens up real wide in the center here. Then you take your auger bit and you can put your auger bit in there. Now, turn your direction onto forward and then you want to sort of hold this center bit while you slowly, it's a little easier to do if you stick this on the ground. And then to tighten it up, just hang on to this and then go real tight and let that tighten up and now you're ready to go. Okay, so now you're ready to drill. Now, one thing I want to tell you about is watch your wrist a little bit on this because if you've got really tough soil or you hit a root or something, sometimes the whole thing is going to take your wrist with it. So just go a little slow at first till you have a feeling for what the soil is going to be like the first time you go in there. So pick your spot and it actually 
helps to sort of go up and down a little bit. Drop your bulb in, cover it up, you're done and you're ready to move on to the next. So sometimes you might be planting in a place where there's a lot of roots like I am right by this tree here or you might have um, really clay, hard clay soil or your soil might not be very soft. And so what will happen is the drill will get caught up a little bit. So let's hope I get stuck here so I can show you what you do. So you start drilling and if the drill gets caught, like see how my wrist started to twist there? Just stop. Take your finger off the trigger. Don't try to force it and switch it into reverse and then reverse out of the hole. And then if you need to go lower, you can go back in again. So you just, to get it out, don't force it because your wrist is gonna kill you at the end of the day. So just use the reverse that your drill already has to take care of what you need um, done so you can get that hole in there. Okay, so that's all there is to planting your bulbs. So whether you decide to use an auger or you use one of the other methods, um, I would say just get out there and plant some bulbs. But don't be afraid of the auger. I guarantee you, that um, you will probably like doing it. You want to plant, plant a lot more bulbs because uh, it's a lot more fun and it goes quicker. And if you have a person to help you, a way to rip through them really quick is have one person run the auger, have the second person drop the bulbs in and cover them up, and you're good to go. By the way, one last thing about bulbs, root end goes down, pointing end goes up. But even if you screw that up, they'll probably figure it out anyway. So don't worry about them, get your bulbs in the ground. And um, I gotta go because I got a lot of bulbs to plant. This is not even a tenth of them. So I'm off to plant some bulbs. I hope you do the same. Have a great day in your garden.